This is Witchbase News for Friday the 15th of May 2020 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...the second beta test for the fleet carrier update continues ...Frontier is running a competition to win an X52 HOTAS ...and we highlight some nice pieces of player generated art from around the community. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. The second beta test for the upcoming fleet carrier system continued this week with a raft of changes from the previous test ...most notably and as we've reported previously ...the upkeep costs have significantly slashed and the debt and decommission system will return almost 100% of the carriers 5 billion asking price if it ever kicks in. As you're no doubt aware the console platforms are included in this beta and there were some initial hiccups with Xbox commanders gaining access. Frontier however stepped up, pulled a late shift that night and after a flurry of activity from developers and the community team alike commanders on the Microsoft console were able to join in with the rest of the community. Some of the more notable events from the beta so far include at least two carriers making it to Sagittarius A a fleet carrier that jumped to inside the exclusion zone of a white dwarf making it completely unreachable and the AXI headquarters in the Pleiades sector being mysteriously renamed. It's also worth noting that the stations yet to be repaired following Thargoid attack have all been removed from the system map in the beta and there is no longer a filter setting in the map to add them back in. It's almost always the case that Frontier adds surprises and extra content into these bigger patches when they drop and here at the pit we wouldn't be at all surprised to see something happening in the Pleiades region at the very least when fleet carriers arrive in the main game in June. So even if you're not expecting to buy a carrier or indeed have significant use for one it's likely there are still reasons to be excited about the upcoming update. Don't forget as well towards the end of the current beta it will enter a blowout period where the price of carriers just in the beta will drop to just 1 million credits. So if you can't currently afford one you're likely to be able to try one out at the very least quite soon. The beta runs until the 26th of May with the cheap carrier blowout period starting on the 22nd. Still on the subject of carriers Frontier announced the life on a fleet carrier competition this week that tasks commanders with creating a personal log about life on one of the giant vessels. The logs can be in any format at all from the written word to recorded songs, videos or screenshots or anything at all that takes your fancy. Winners will receive between 8400 and 25500 arcs points and one lucky overall winner will receive a brand spanking new X52 Pro HOTAS controller to complement their in game experiences. Definitely significantly better than a poke in the eye with a blunt jam covered pencil. There's a link below to the official forum post announcing the competition. Entries must be in by midnight on May the 26th. On the subject of community generated art there's a few pieces that passed in front of our collective faces here at the pit this week and we wanted to shine a light on them. First of all was a video from Commander Phil P of the Post Disaster Evacuation Service that takes Jerry Anderson's classic TV series UFO as its inspiration and features the collective work of the AXI, Operation Ida and the PDES as its subject. A fantastic theme, great music and snappily edited. Next if you're not following Commander Beetlejude on Twitter or Flickr then you're missing something really special. A truly prolific Elite Dangerous artist Beetlejude is a constant stream of Elite artwork predominantly in chalks. This week she drew a picture of two eagles hooning near a planet surface for serial hooner and practitioner of flight assist off witchcraft Commander Sanderling. Links to her exceptional works are below. Commander Starhunter117 posted two pencil drawings on Reddit this week that are just fantastic. One showing a python to scale with human figures next to it and another showing a crate in flight. Do check them out, they're just brilliant. 
and Commander Universally is running the Boon Labs channel on YouTube. A channel dedicated to investigating let's call it alternative science in Elite Dangerous. This week he posted his results from experiments he conducted in trying to establish if you could shoot yourself in Elite Dangerous. <laughs> turns out you can. Check out his hilarious video linked below to find out how. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.